Hello everyone, welcome to Skyrim Mod Adventures, I'm your host, Sniper, and this time, I am prepared with, with things to say. Here we go, right now we're helping uh, this guy around the corner track down another guy. Uh, I want to get started here, and, and just say, my favorite thing about modding so far, or at least one of my favorite things, is the voice actors. Because in the vanilla game, why is there a loading? Never mind. In the vanilla game, there were only a few voice actors. There was the guy that that was like, "You've been a good friend to me. That means something." And then there's the other guy that's like, "Why the gods watch over your battles, friend?" And then there's the douche that's like, "Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around." And it just it frustrates me to no end. And just the variety of voice actors is what uh, is something I'm really liking in modding because like, even if it's like not professional work, because you know it's unreasonable to expect every every mod to have professional voice work. However, it is reasonable to expect the. Skyrim itself to have professional voice work, which it didn't. At least it didn't sound like it. I mean, I don't mean... I'm not trying to insult those people, even though I know I am. But the voice acting just wasn't good. And you got the other guy that says that? that sounds like he's choking on marbles. Ah, it's like... Everything's for sale, my friend! Like, uh, Bellathor or Lucan from Riverwood Trader. I mean, come on. Skyrim... It, it just... It frustrates me to no end. It... It's probably my least favorite thing about Skyrim, but it's certainly not the only thing that bothers me. Because... Here's something else. Um, modding, I don't feel, it shouldn't feel like a chore. Modding should be fun additions to the game. I feel like for everything that Bethesda did, the project they would show the project director and they would say, do you, do you feel like I should add more, a few more things to this, whether it be a city or anything else? And the project director would go, eh, good enough. I feel like that was every single thing in Skyrim. Or at least most of it. Let's get these money packs here. Alright, I'm going to shut up now so you can listen to this. Get me out of here. The switch to open the cage is on the wall over there. I have important news for Agnar. What is it? Are you alright? The bandits, they're working for Ingvar. I overheard them talking. They're searching for something. That's why they kidnapped me. What are they searching for? What could you possibly know? They wanted to know about some key, and when they found I didn't know anything, they were enraged. They were deciding what to do with me when you two showed up. Thank the Divines for that. Agnar I'm not doing that. This. I'll have our friend here, Tully. You go home and get some rest. Thank you for saving me. I'll see you in Amber Creek. Go to Amber Creek to the southeast. I'd go but have a patrol to keep. And Machias is rattled and needs to rest. Once you're there, find the Jarl Agnar in the main house. Tell him the bandits are working for Ingvar. It's imperative that he knows. He may also... A reward for you for delivering such important information. If you follow me, I'll unlock the gate for you. Okay. Now, I was listening to that, so I forgot what I was saying. Uh, I was just... Mo like I said, modding shouldn't feel like a chore. Because there are things like the unofficial bug patches that shouldn't have to exist, but they do. Because Skyrim, it just has so many bugs. I mean, it's unre I, I know a game isn't going to be perfect, and it's unreasonable to expect a game a game to be 
But like I said, I feel like every aspect of Skyrim was like, eh, good enough. So, I mean, Bethesda doesn't even fix a lot of the things that they should. Because, um, like they fixed the Ogma Infinium glitch, or trick, to help people level up faster, which... I guess they felt like it broke the game, but on the PC, you know, we have console commands that they didn't take out, so I don't understand, really. Oh, huh, cool. I, I don't understand why they would fix that and not other things. I mean, I know they fixed certain things like an issue where a character would show up to the player's wedding dead. And that I get, but they didn't fix other things that kind of broke the game, like made quests unfinishable, or environmental things that they should have. Oh, this looks really nice. Environmental things that they just didn't, they didn't fix. And the first one that comes to mind is the Gilder Green uh, in Whiterun. If you put in a sprout, it's supposed to get rid of the old dead tree and put in a smaller one. But, every time I've tried to do it, the d they put it in the smaller one, but the dead tree was still there, and you just saw a couple pink leaves sticking out of the middle. That's not what's supposed to happen, and it's really, really annoying. I just... <sighs> Skyrim, I said this before, Skyrim felt unfinished. And that's my... <sighs> Th that that's my point and uh, god I, I i guess that ends my rant it's a lot shorter than i thought it was going to be so i guess i'm just going to get to the, this place here and uh call it call it an episode i am certain that a lot of people are going to disagree with my assessment but at, but at the very least you have to agree with me on the on the voice acting thing. If you say the voice acting is top-notch, you're wrong. And that's just the end of it. You're wrong. The only voice actor that's that's good, and maybe... Maybe I'm biased because I'm a fan of Mass Effect, but General Tullius is the only voice actor that adds some kind of emotion to him. To the, to the character, I mean. What the... How did he get here before us? Go inside. Have a drink and get some rest. Okay, so even that that voice acting wasn't the best, but it was better than the majority of voices in um, in the vanilla game. And there are other mods that feel like chores, that felt like chores, I think, because there was um, uh, 3D NPCs and the developer... They're interesting NPCs, and the developer acknowledged that every, that most of the NPCs in Skyrim felt just so one and two dimensional that he just had to add some interesting are, ones. For now, just enjoy being young. It's like he shouldn't have had to Say do so. that. Do I don't know. I just feel like Bethesda. I don't mean to warrior. not credit them sure because they did make a I great game. They, they really did. But, you know, it would it's like if Michelangelo had made just David's head, and it was just the head sitting on top of a rectangular prism of concrete. I'm going to stop. Let me get out of your way. Good. It's just like, okay, it's impressive, but it's not done. What the... I feel like Skyrim was... Don't go to bed yet. They saw how good Oblivion was. And so, alright, we'll make the game to just the baseline. And then we'll let the modders take care of the rest. <laughs> they call me the Traveler. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. Alright, uh... Well, I guess I am going to shut up here. And after this conversation, uh... I guess... I'll end the episode. 
come. Mercenaries were trying to activate me. Oh, okay. Uh, we found Ma Masius? Masius? He says bandits are working for Ingvar. What? What led him to believe that? Such a statement cannot be taken lightly. We overheard them talking. They got orders from Ingvar to capture him. This... this is bad news. It could very well mean the start of another war. Thank you for bringing me this information. Please, accept this token of my appreciation. At least he put effort into the... To ask more of you. You have already saved one of my people. But I don't have much choice. Long ago, when there was war between my family and the Yunvaldirs, there was a group of monks that served as our wise men and court wizards. They have since retired to a simpler life, but their roots are still there. They may know what Ingvar is up to. Please, go to Balen Priory, to the southwest, and talk to Brother Thorlo. See if he knows anything. You can't send someone you trust, like a... Like a guardsman? Or even your house, Carl? Anyway, at least he put effort into making the accent. I mean, that, that's another thing about the voices. Because... Um... Like, they're all supposed to be Nordic accents from Skyrim. But all of the voices sound nothing alike. And, God. and it's not even like a regional thing. There's the same four voice actors in every single uh, city in Skyrim. Do you think we could Ignoring the fact that they can barely be called a city, because they're not... I don't know who's talking. Anyway, I said I would end the, end the episode after that conversation, so um, I guess I'm going to go here. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Say bye, Arissa. I heard that Helgen was attacked by a dragon. Can you okay. believe that? There's no way that can be true. What an odd time to bring that up. Okay, well, that kind of puts a damper on my ending. But okay. Really? That's crazy. Wait, how could you know that? Her voice acting is great. I see. Well, that's great that you made it out alive. Not that I'm judging, but care to explain the whole imprisonment thing? I'd like to know who I'm traveling with. I was curious about that, too. <laughs> I'm sure there's more to it than that. You'll have to tell me the story one day. Anyway, we should probably tell someone. You might be the only one to have seen the dragon and live to tell about it. I'm sure the Jarl of White One would want to know about this. Let's head that way. All right. Okay, well, that was incredibly off topic of what we're doing here, but okay. Bye.